Hey Jarvis, turn on the light. Hey folks and welcome back. Now it's been quite some time since my last video because I have been on vacation in India visiting my friends and family over here. But in the meantime, Home Assistant has been busy introducing their micro wake word which is an on-device wake word detection on an ESP32 S3. Now the Home Assistant team gave a demo about this using an ESP32 S3 Box 3 and I frantically went around searching for this device and found it to be unavailable or out of stock. So then I went ahead and I looked at the configurations of the Box 3 and I found out that it uses an ESP32 S3 chip inside it. So then what I did is I ordered one of the S3 dev boards and then when it came I actually tried using this micro wake word and unfortunately it did not work. So then I reached out to the home assistant community on the home assistant discord channel and there one of the community members reached out to me and told me that I need to have an S3 board with a PS RAM on it. Now I checked my board mine was the N8 board which does not have PS RAM. So I then ordered the right board that is the N8 R2 board which has 8 MB of flash and 2 MB of PS RAM. Now just to make sure that you don't choose the wrong board I have provided links into the description below to buy the right board for this setup. Now there are two types of boards like one is the N8 R2 and the N16 R8. Now the N stands for the amount of flash that is available and the R stands for the amount of PS RAM that is available. Now for example, the N8 R2 has 8 MB of flash and 2 MB of PS RAM. Now similarly the N16 has 16 MB of flash and 8 MB of PS RAM. Now I provided links to both of them into the description below. You can buy any one but in this setup I'll be using the N8 R2 chip. Now along with this you would need a microphone so I'm using the INMP441 as well as an audio amplifier that is the MAX 98357A. Now using these two components I'll connect it to the ESP32 S3 board itself and then finally we are going to flash this device with YAML configuration from ESP Home so that we can connect this to Home Assistant and this device then can invoke the assist pipeline. So with this Let's look at what are the various connections that we need to do and the various parts of the ESP Home YAML configuration. So before we begin, let's look at the various connections that you need to do with the ESP32 S3 board. So now here is the device. This is the ESP32 S3 dev board. And in this, if you see here, I've connected the INMP441 microphone as well as the speaker. Now, if you see here, I have connected this microphone using some short cables. I didn't find any short jumper cables right now because when I bought, I bought these 20 centimeter jumper cables and apparently this was producing a lot of noise in the microphone. So make sure you use shorter cables to the microphone itself to reduce the amount of noise that is involved. And then I have made also connections to the Max 98357A amplifier. So this is the amplifier here and I have connected this speaker right now. This is the connection that I've done and this entire connections you can see right now on the screen how the connections have been done as well as I will provide this circuit diagram into the article that I will link into the description below so that you can refer it completely. Now once these connections have been done what we will be doing is we will be creating a device in ESP home. So I'm going to click on new device here. And I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to give it a name like ESP32 S3 wake word. And I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to select ESP32 S3. And with this, I'm going to click on skip. So now I have this device created for me in ESP home. But let me show you the existing configuration that I have. So this is the configuration that I have created here. I have taken most of this from the community provider Big Boba who has actually provided this entire configuration which works and he showed that it works all fine. So I have used the same configuration here but there are a few changes that you might have to do depending on the board that you have bought. For example in my case I had brought this N8 R2 which has 8 MB flash and 2 MB of PS RAM. But if you see here, this has a value of type QD, that is quad. 
so what i need to do is i need to specify quad here as a part of this mode so the ps mode will be kept to quad in case you have bought the n16 r8 then you will have to specify octal that is this value here so this octal value will be set over here so now this is one of the major difference for n8 r2 and n16 r8 so refer to this diagram here i will provide this link into the article that i will link into the description below so now let's move on to the next part here a switch configuration here is provided in order to mute the voice assistant so this is an extra feature if you want you can remove it out but i like that feature that uh, the community member had provided so i'm keeping it now along with this let's look at the main configurations here first of all we have this two i2s audio configurations now this one is for the microphone wherein i have specified what are the various pins that are supposed to be connected like the ws is connected to gpio 3 and sck is connected to gpio 2 similarly for the max 98357a we have the lrc pin connected to gpio 6 and blck pin connected to gpio 7 so this is the configuration for the i2s audio now from the microphone point of view I have set this to GPIO4 so this is the input from the microphone itself and the channel is set to left and I'm keeping the sample bitrate to 32 bits. Now along with this we have the speaker configuration here set to GPIO8 here so this is the DN pin from the Max 98357A. Then finally we have the most important thing that is a micro wake word. So in case of the micro wake word that I have set here on its detection what it does is it returns the wake word and then afterwards it turns on this light on the esp32 s3 board and then the model that i'm using here is hey jarvis so using hey jarvis this board will get triggered such that it invokes the home assistant pipeline and then finally we have the voice assistant configuration here wherein i have specified the voice assistant mic as well as a voice assistant speaker and a few things related to error handling and what it has to do on the end of the voice assistant assist. So this is the various configuration. I will provide the original configuration link that the community member Big Boba had provided into the article as well as I will provide this entire YAML which I am using right now into the article so you can refer to that completely so the next thing that we need to do is we need to flash this configuration onto the esp32 s3 so let me click on install and i'm going to do a manual download so with this it will build the entire file and then give you a binary and then what you have to do is once you get that binary you have to go to web.esphome.io and this is only supported on chrome browsers so let me open a chrome browser here and in this chrome browser i'm going to paste this url so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this device that is my esp board to my laptop and then i'm going to click on connect and i'm going to select the usb port here with this i'm going to connect this and i'm going to click on install and here i'm going to select the binary that i will download as a result of the compilation that is happening before so now this compilation is completed and we have a binary that is available so let me save this binary here i'm going to say keep here and i'm going to go back here and i'm going to select this file i'm going to select this and then i'm going to click on install now when initially i connected the s3 board to my mac m2 it was not flashing the binary and it would always give this reset error so then I switched to a Windows system and then after that I connected the ESP32 S3 and then I was able to flash the binary on it. Now in case your device does not go into a flashing mode that means it does not go into this erasing phase what you have to do is if you see here you have these two buttons that is boot and reset. So first of all you have to press the boot button then press the reset button then leave the reset button and then leave the boot button. So this will cause the device to go into the flashing phase and then this will start flashing. So now I'm not installing this from my Mac system as you know that there's a problem with M2 or the M series Mac. So I have done the flashing on a Windows system 
and the ROM is already flashed onto this device right now. So now what I'm going to do is let's go to home assistant and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to devices and services. Let me open this here. So right now the device is not auto discovered. So since the device was not discovered, I just unplugged the device and I replugged it. And as you can see, the device is now discovered. So let me click on configure here and I'm going to say submit. Now this is going to ask me for an encryption key. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy the API encryption key from here and I'm going to paste this here. So with this, our ESP32 S3 boot with wake word is now configured inside home assistant. So let me go to this devices and I'm going to go to this S3 wake word. So here, if you see, I have the mute button here. I have the onboard LED as well as I have an assist pipeline been configured. Now I have already configured this assist pipeline, but let me show you what are the various components that are present inside this assist pipeline. So let me go to the settings here and I'm going to go to voice assistant. And then here I have this assist pipeline. Now in this assist pipeline, I need two things. I need first of all, a uh, speech to text. So in this case, I'm using faster whisper. In case of text to speech, I'm using Piper. And in case of a wake word, I have not configured anything here. And this is my pipeline configuration. Now, how to set up these various components, I have a video which is linked somewhere here, wherein I have shown you how you can create this entire pipeline with the various components along with the wake word. But now you don't have to configure the wake word because the wake word is done inside the ESP32 S3 board itself. What you need to do is just configure the speech to text and the text to speech components. So this is right now all configured here. I'm going to go back to settings now and let's go to that device again. So now we have this device here. Let's actually now try and trigger this now. So let me bring this thing up. So this is the LED that has been configured. Let me turn on the LED first here. So if you see the light comes on and I can turn it off. I can even set different colors here depending on what I want. So right now let's turn off this LED and test what we actually want to do. So let me say, hey Jarvis, turn on the light. Sorry, I couldn't understand that. Okay. It didn't understand it, but it actually detected the wake word. It put this assist in progress and this was set to on because the assist pipeline was invoked and, and it tried to figure out what the command was. Now let's go and open this overview section. Now in the overview section, I have this LED here and let's see if it can turn this light on. Hey Jarvis, turn on the light. Sorry, I'm not wearing a light. Okay, it gave an error right now because it could not understand it, but let me try again. Hey Jarvis, turn on the light. There we go. So right now it actually turned on this light for us. And the wake word part is all done using the ESP32 S3. It is pretty instantaneous in processing the wake word and then release the command further to home assistant to process what command you have given and then take the appropriate action. So with this, we just saw how we can configure this local wake word detection on the device itself and relay the command to home assistant for processing. Now in my next video, I'll be showing you how we can integrate open AI with home assistant such that I can make my voice assistant more intelligent. Now the links to all the components as well as the article I have provided into the description below. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.